Hey Crafty Cuties! Today we are going to do a junk journal layout and I am going to be making sure that I include some very specific elements in this layout because I am doing a junk journal challenge and um, certain things need to be um, present in the layout to be entered into the giveaway for this challenge. Um, you're going to need a pocket, a tag, recycled mail or junk of any type, a page or piece from a book, ink or watercolor, a flower, and some trim or lace. Now, that sounds like a mouthful. I'm not going to get into all of the specifics for the challenge in this video. I will have the official challenge video linked below if you want more information on that, but I wanted to mention those things um, before we get started and let's get ahead and go. I am going to start out by adding some watercolor to this page because I know that I want watercolor on this page and so I want to be able to give time um, and give it time to dry while I'm working on the other side. So I am just going to add in some colors here and I'm just going to start I think with my yellow. I should have added some water. Um, this is actually a piece of watercolor paper, so uh, it's fine that I'm going to be adding lots of water, but I'm not going for anything specific either. I, I don't want to get the page too wet because I do want to just let it dry. But I'm trying to see if I can get the water flow or the color flowing a little bit more than it is. So let's just add. I'm gonna go. Let's see, maybe I will add some orange. My uh, watercolor pans are really falling out of this. I'm using, uh, I think it's called the Prima, let's see, Confections, something like that. Okay, so I'm not worried about like brush strokes or anything like that. This is literally just going to be a background. <laughs> kind of want these colors to blend. Are those having a good time? I'm probably going to have a pocket down here, so um, yeah, I'm not too worried about having anything too far down. I'm just trying to go in with this dark pink color though, just so this can kind of blend up. Um, I think there must have been something on my brush because it's leaving like a dark color, but that's okay. So I'm going to grab a paper towel here because I do want to lift up any extra water so this will dry somewhat. So I am kind of realizing I want to try to incorporate some of this dark pink that I have so maybe <laughs> I'm going to try to cover up this page and just do a few little splatters. Yeah that will be good because I have a pink a piece of pink paper that I want to incorporate so I wanted that to show up. There we go. So I'll let that dry for a minute. So let me show you real quick what I'm wanting to put in this layout. I have some pictures of Arlo and Alistair from a hike that we went on. And we also um, got these ferns that were really cool. And there's some small little daisies in this um, little glassine envelope. I want to put this over here on this page, but this is going to get pretty crispy. And so I want to keep it in here. So I'm actually going to sew around this, I think, and just have this stay inside the glassine bag. So let's head over to the sewing machine. Um, I also have like a trail map that I'll probably put in some type of a pocket. And then I have this junk mail that we're going to use as, um, as the main pocket. So let's head over to the sewing machine. So I went ahead and trimmed this down and I think I'm just gonna sew around the top and I'm gonna sew around the whole thing. I think I'll go ahead and, and kind of fold that in. And I don't mind if a few pieces are sticking out, but um, we'll just start by sewing right across the top here. And I have pink thread in here. So I really like how this ended up looking. Um, I put some double-sided tape just because I am taping this to vellum and I've already used glue on one side and it worked but it is a little wrinkled so um, I gotta 
be careful here. So I'm going to pull this off and then, all right, we're going to just set that down right there. So now it's time to work on this pocket. So I mentioned I wanted to use some junk mail and I'm just going to kind of cut this down to size. I like that it has the window. So we probably need to trim right about there. And I'm probably going to, let's see, I don't have an exact plan. Let's see there. I'm gonna cut the top of this so that the, um, well, no, actually I don't need to. The pocket will be behind. So I'm gonna go ahead and cover everything but the window with this paper. So I'm just using this as a guide and I'm going to cut around it first. And then I'll cut out a little window. And I'm not sure what we'll have peeking through. I do need to include some type of a flower and a book page. So I think I'm gonna combine the two. Um, and do a flower from a book page. Okay, so we need the window to be right around here. So I'm just using this square as a little guide. I put this up to the light so I could see where the window was on the junk mail. And I'm just gonna use my white pen and trace around this so that I know where to cut out. Um, there's probably many different ways you could do this, but I tend to go for whatever the easiest way is. <laughs> so I'm just gonna cut that little hole out. Just gonna poke a little hole like that. This is pretty paper. I wish I wasn't cutting through it, but that's okay. And I'm just going to trim around this carefully. All right, I would say I'm pretty happy with that. I am going to use my Distress Oxide in brush corduroy just to simply go around the edges of this and I'll make sure to hit the inside as well, just to add a little bit of dimension. And then we can go ahead and glue this on top of the um, envelope here. And I really probably didn't need to use the envelope, but um, it's kind of nice to use as a base. And I like that it already has that plastic um, that's on the envelope and it's really just another way to kind of repurpose and use your junk mail. I am going to have another video soon where I use like all junk mail I've been collecting um, to make like a full journal so that's going to be a lot of fun. Okay so there we go just glue that on and now hopefully our page will be dry. I'm actually going to quickly off camera go so around the edges of this. Okay, so I want to use this trim right here. I think this goes really well with my layout. And I'm just gonna put some right at the top here. And then I also need to use a page from a book. And so I think I'm going to find like a floral image. I'm just gonna glue that right across there. If I was thinking about it, I could have sewed this on, but that's okay to get that as straight as possible. Okay. I like that a lot. So now um, I also need to figure out how I want to incorporate a tag. And I have this Manila tag. It was folded, but that's okay with me. I think I'm actually gonna put my photos on that. Um, and then I'll do journaling on the back. Yeah, I think that will be good. Um, let's see here. So I have this book so that I can incorporate a book page of some sort. And I'm thinking, I kind of like this because it's like a little journaling card. Ooh, actually maybe for the journaling, I could actually turn one of these into a journaling card because I don't need much space. Oh, I really like that one too. And that one. I try to see what's on the back of them because sometimes there might be an image on the back that I would rather use. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is cut this out and I am going to use this like a journaling card. I'll need to back this with some paper and I'll just probably find some in my little scrap bin here. So we'll go like that. And for the challenge, I could have um, added any type of flower. I could have made a flower out of book pages or I could have used a fabric flower or, you know, it, it really doesn't matter. Um, okay. so. 
We'll back that in a moment. I'm gonna go ahead and cut these photos out. So I'm gonna go ahead and just glue these down. I gotta also think about what's gonna peek through that window. And I think what I will do is have the floral journaling card peek through. And I was kind of thinking I'll turn it into a tag also. So, okay. So there's kind of a lot going on with this page, but that's all right with me. And I did ink around the edges of this tag. So that's okay. I'll probably put some kind of trim at the top. Um, so I'll probably put this in the back of the pocket. And I did cut the top of this envelope actually so that you could place something down where the window is. So, you know what? If I had something that went sideways, that would almost be perfect, but I mean, that could be sideways, right? I think it looks kind of cool sideways. So I think I'm gonna use some, this is Tim Holtz wallpaper, and this tag actually fit perfect down there, so I'm just gonna kinda trace over this, but I want it to be a little bit shorter so you can see that there's two tags. So we'll just go like so. Arlo's playing in her jumpy thing. It's That's how I film, it's either she's in her jumpy thing, <laughs> Or I film on the weekends when Hans is home. That's how we gotta do it, and she's happy, so. That's kind of the times that I'm like, oh, I have time to film, let's do this. Okay, so, very pretty. And then see, this will be easy to do um, journaling on the back here, because it's already plain, so I don't have to worry about backing anything. And this tag, honestly, already has flowers, so I could have used that as my floral element, but that's okay. I really like this little image. Hopefully that will fit okay and show up. Okay, so I need to bring it down just a bit. Let's see how that is. <laughs> She's having a good old time. Okay. That is good enough for me. And then like I said, this tag will go in the back. So I'll add a little bit of trim to the top. So I'm actually just gonna staple on some trim that I had. Our little thing, mama, you guys. I wish that I could have caught that. Okay, so real quick, I'm just going to go ahead and bring you guys out. I'm gonna just glue around the edges here. All right, guys, my pocket's on. I just realized after I was done that this was not actually watercolor paper. It was the back of some scrapbook paper. So it's a little worn. I'm just adding a little bit of washi tape here that I wanted. <laughs> so um, yeah, I gotta start making my junk journals a lot less full to start out with because I like to jam so much in. But we are done. I have a pocket. I have a tag, two tags actually. Um, recycled mail or junk of any type, which we covered the mail right here. Um, a page or a piece from a book, which was the floral piece, ink or watercolor, use some watercolor, a, f a flower, we have all kinds of flowers going on, some trim or lace, um, also have a, f a little bit of that everywhere. So I'm happy with the layout, that was really fun. Um, got my photos here, I like how those are just simple on there. I'm going to do journaling on either the back of that one or the back of the, probably the back of the, um, the smaller tag. But I will do that off camera on my own there. And again, if you want more information about the challenge, if it is before April 30th, you can check the video down below for that. And I will see you guys in the next video. Have a great day. Bye, guys.